Hey everybody, back with another video and today uh, we are actually on the job to do a service call. Um, this particular call is a, uh, is a no heat call, so come on around and we'll go ahead and check out and see what the symptoms of this, uh, this call is. So we already have the doors off and you'll notice right away here that we have a, um, this isn't wired up quite right, but um, we're not here to worry about the, the, those types of things. We're just trying to get this thing up and running. So uh, we're going to push the, the button in and it should run through its cycles. So the first step is that the inducer comes on. It has to prove that the vent is clear. And once it, how it does that is by a vacuum, pulls in the pressure switch. So that's what we're waiting for right now. Okay, come on down here and you'll see there's a uh, green flashing light. We have a code and we'll have to look at the, let me see if I can find the door real quick. Oh, and there it is. Uh, that one is not the right door. Okay, so two flashes. Looking at the uh, board is going to tell us here blink codes. Two blinks says PC circuit, pressure switch circuit open, uh, go to F. All right, so this gives you a little little diagram of what to do, but we're not going to worry about that. So two blinks on this particular furnace is a stuck pressure switch. So we're going to come up here to the pressure switch and pull the terminals back a little bit. Okay, just so that I can get my meter on there. <clears throat> All right. It's going to be a little difficult to do. Let's see here. I'm going to put this door on. So I don't have to hold that. Okay, pressure switch. We're going to test that and it's open. Now if that was closed I would not be getting any voltage. So to verify that we go from the terminal to ground. So you got power on one side of the switch and no power on the other side of the switch. So this pressure switch is not making for some reason. Let's see if we've got a plugged tube. Sometimes the tube will get plugged. Okay, I can, I can hear the switch making when I do that. So we are going to, if you look, can you get real close in here? You see some white flaky material on the edge of this? Sometimes you get that built up inside the end of this. So what you got to do is run a little piece of wire or something in there and clean that out. <coughs> okay. See if that's enough to pull that pressure switch in. That would only be on an 80% efficient furnace. Uh, sometimes you get that. I don't think that was the problem though. Nope, still closed. All right. Well, this is this vent isn't quite right here either. Then we got a four-inch vent on a three-inch pipe here. Sometimes if uh, these get clogged up. Pull the door off, put it back on to reset the board. Oh, there we go. There's our problem right there. There's not enough draft because... Shine down in there. Can you see it? See a bunch of... Crap. There's a bird. Okay, go ahead and back up. We'll get that bird out of there. <laughs> All right, bet you she'll work now.
we have to get this fixed. This is not cool. All right. Now I'm going to listen. Let's get close and listen to the pressure switch. Oh, I didn't get the door on. There we go. There you go. I just heard it click. So, see, no, no power. That means the switch is closed. Power on one side of the switch, power on the other side of the switch. When the switch closes, no power. So now it should go through the rest of its cycle. We should start hearing some sparking here in a second. this a lot of times um, you'll find that a lot of times in the springtime or excuse me in the fall first fire ups it's had all summer birds are falling down in the chimney making nests and uh, all sorts of things like that so if you ever have a pressure switch issue first place you want to look is to do exactly what we just did nine times out of ten uh, it's a pretty simple fix so thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you all in the next video